Hello and welcome to Off the Mountain, the most confused YouTube channel in the history of everything. Well, uh, <laughs> the, the comments are, are speaking for themselves. Um, you guys really liked the uh, Aaron Franklin uh, pork butt uh, roast that I did, uh, barbecue, whatever it was. Um, again, that came out pan freaking fantastic. And I hope to do a rib uh, uh, smoking here sometime soon, but well, we had a blizzard and things and power and all that sort of stuff, and it's kind of been a mess. But at any rate, here we are, back in the kitchen. We're gonna do something else today. We are going to talk about another masterclass. Why? Because Gordon Ramsay kicks ass, and he kicks more ass than I hope to ever do, because here I am with 42 subscribers now. 42, take that, Ramsay. Mm. Got 42 now. Yeah, that's right, I had 16 or something like that not long ago, so what's up? Anyway, so we're gonna take his masterclass on making a chicken supreme and we're gonna modify it a little bit. What does that mean? We're gonna make it simpler. <laughs> um, I'm lazy. Uh, I don't have the time, all the time, to make all the great things that he did in that class. However, a lot of the fundamentals, as I started to learn them, get used to them, work through them, they're awesome. I, I, I cannot thank him enough for doing those classes because I never would have had that extra set of skill and never would have um, learned all the little things because going back to watch those videos, I, I started to pick up on on uh, some of the fine details that he doesn't necessarily mention, but I noticed. So uh, in, in another video later, much later, uh, much later, I think I have another chicken in the freezer, but anyway, I'll break down the chicken. I'll explain to you how I do it slightly differently and how I also have a, a, a very specific uh, kitchen knife that I have for literally breaking down chickens. Um, I got this as a Christmas present because I asked for this specific blade, mostly because of the, the tip on it and how it, how it's, you know, contoured, but all things being equal, you can use any knife. It doesn't matter. We'll get to that later. Now, what are we doing this evening? We are doing a chicken breast with a chicken tender attached. That is what Ramsey calls a chicken supreme. Uh, you'll see it there sitting all nice and fancy. We're also going to do some carrots that we got a few days ago. They're, they're, for whatever reason, they sell them in bundles now, and I don't know why. Like, and the packs are fine, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It's it's aesthetics. I'm sure I'm sure they're nicer that way. Um, they might be fresher. I don't know. Um, leave a comment down below and tell me how much more fresh they are. Especially if you work in the grocery, you know, grocery end. Uh, I'd love to know that. Uh, otherwise, I've got some just uh, russet potatoes. Nothing fancy about those. Um, we've got some onions down there. No, no, no comment on those right now. Um, meant to make a stew. Didn't use nearly as much as I wanted. Long story. But uh, breaking a chicken down can give you a good number of meals. Great food for not that much. Uh, we're not going to use super fancy equipment. We're not going to use $500 uh, pans. Uh, I have, I have some basic, you know, yes, they're all clad, but there, there's nothing fancy about these. And you can see they got smiles on them. Um, we're, we're going to use a, a, a pan that we put in the oven. Uh, nothing fancy about this either. So we, and you can see again, this got some miles on it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I probably need to retire it. No, huh. might line this one, but this is a William Sonoma. I got this for like 25 bucks, 30 bucks, maybe. These are great. Uh, I've had this for about a year or two, maybe maybe more, uh, and, and it's been fine. It's been great, uh, but we're actually, you know what? I'm not gonna put that back. Why would I put that back? It's almost, it's almost time to start making dinner. Um, close that. Uh, and it's 4.50, showtime. So I'm going to take out the chicken breast, let it get a little, little bit up to speed. Um, by that, I mean warm. Uh, we are going to just take it out and sit it on the counter. That's all you got to do. Take it, sit it on the counter. Not hard to do. We're going to let that sit. Kind of, kind of let the, cause in here, uh, I want to say it's around 40 some degrees. It's a little on the cooler side than usual. Um, I like to have my stuff a little bit warmer. Uh, be careful with that. Don't leave it out and forget about it because then it's dangerous and nasty and you'll get sick. Don't be stupid. Uh, but this, uh, we're going to hit it with some basic salt and pepper, 
Um, this is mostly, <laughs> it's supposed to be all fancy and stuff. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pepper mix. And then this is just uh, salt. You can use um, just like, like just coarse sea salt, it's fine. Um, and you don't have to do anything super expensive to make it taste good. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of butter. Uh, I may use a little bit of garlic. I've got this, I got this bulb. I don't know where this thing came from because I don't, I've never bought one. I think it came from the, from a food service or something. Um, but I'll show you how to bust that up real quick. Uh, Ramsey uh, in his thing, he, he throws it in all in one piece. I, I like to eat them later. So I, I kind of, I kind of take this stuff off. Um, but this is it. Like, this is all you'll need. Uh, you'll need a, a, a pan to, to hold your chicken breast, uh, a stove top, an oven, and, and a pan to, to put it all in. That's it. Uh, now, if you're lucky enough to have one of these, you can use that. These cook really, really well and super fast, so keep your eye on it. That stuff goes, goes crazy. And also, if you're like, ah, I don't know about this crap, here you go. Use a thermometer. Worst case scenario, you use a thermometer. These are these are super cheap on Amazon. Um, these are these are KitchenAids. I think I got a pair of them for uh, eight dollars, something like that. And and these are oven safe, so you can put these in the oven, so you can you, you can literally have this like sitting inside. It's great. Um, I use that for the for the uh, the air fryer, whatever. It's it's a convection oven, um, glorified toaster in my opinion. But. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna start making this here in just a short bit. Uh, in the meantime, um, I highly recommend you sharpen a knife. Uh, that's always good. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably be using this knife. Um, been using it forever. It's it's a Wusta 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 uh, It's a German knife. Um, if you've ever seen these, these are actually pretty good. Um, but that's okay if you don't have it. it. It doesn't matter. This is probably the nicest thing outside of that other knife that I have in this kitchen. Everything else is kind of run of the mill. At some point, I'll upgrade it. Not today, not tomorrow, but we'll see. At any rate, uh, let's get cracking because this thing's going and it's been a few minutes. Time to start prep. Uh, preheat the oven to 450. Uh, it is a convection oven, but this is high altitude, so it doesn't really count. Man, it's got a lot of dirt. Look at that dirt. Look at that dirt on that bad boy. Uh, since it's just for me, I kind of eat a lot. Kind of one of those guys that just eats a freaking ton of food. Um, these look good. You also want to check these too, like just give them a quick quick once over, kind of look them through. I'm going to wash these as well. Now again, I'm going for something quick and easy. I'm not going for super like high level stuff. Uh, you could, you could, you know, uh, uh, peel these a little bit because I think, I think the outside is non-digestible or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a chef. Maybe a chef can comment. But I usually just cap them, just take these tops off. Uh, normally because that's where a lot of the dirt likes to hide out anyway. So it's more for me, it's just, just making it a little bit easier to deal with. Uh, these guys are gonna go back. By the way, got these Rubbermaids. Uh, they work really well, they do work. They actually work. They're not, they're not hype, which is, which is great. Because uh, I hate stuff that you buy and you try it and it's just total garbage. Like, I hate that stuff. So now we're gonna take a couple of these potatoes. You know what, I'm not feeling super hungry tonight. So we're just gonna take, I try to find two that are about the same size just because it makes it just easier. Again, I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna take those two, pop that back on there. Again, one, one sack of potatoes can last you a whole week. And so, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like potatoes every day. Well, fine. Go hungry. I don't care. And now, again, this is a preference thing. I don't mind the, the skin on, uh, but if you do, take care of it. And really, these things are, this one's actually kind of on the big side. So, let's see how much we get out of him. He ends up, he's getting to be quite a bit here. So, you know what? I'm going to chunk him like so. Whoop. Now for me, um, I don't really care how you cut them. 
there's some people that have high opinions are, oh, you're gonna cut a missing. Shut up, who cares? Doesn't matter. Um, now these guys are gonna cook a little faster, which is unfortunate, so I kind of screwed that up in fairness. So I guess I'm kind of going back on the same thing I just said. So uh, I just take this and just dump it in there. Like there's nothing fancy about this at all, all right? You just, you're just taking it, you're throwing it in there. Um, now these are a little bit thicker than, than, your, than some of your other potato, or your other carrots will be. Now, because the carrots are big and the potato chunks are fairly big, you can kind of get away with putting them together. If you don't like that, cut these in half. Uh, that's not a big deal. So I've had, you know, sometimes I'll cut them in half, like if I have small pieces, because uh, Ramsey's recipe calls for uh, turnips and radishes, and I love those. That combination is fan freaking tastic. If you have real uh, fresh turnips in your area, by all means get them because they are gonna they're gonna just oh so much better. Um, but uh, another thing I use I use grapeseed oil. Uh, it just the temperature on it holds real well and it doesn't seem to burn all that easy. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit on there. Nothing crazy there either. And again, we haven't started anything on the on on the stove top yet because. I don't trust myself. Uh, I'll, I'll run around and do stuff and everything else. The oven being on isn't that big of a danger. So I wait on that. Um, got a little bit of salt, just shake it on out, grind it on out, give it on in there. And now you'll see, you'll, you'll see on the, if you watch uh, Ramsey's video, you'll see him, he'll be like, a touch of salt. And he like throws like half of, it's, it's amazing how much salt he throws in there. Um, so I'm just kind of shaking this up in here, just kind of spreading that around, spreading the love, spreading the love. Uh, I like to kind of keep things just sort of intermixed. Uh, at this point, it's got a ton of oil on it, so let's get a you know pair of tongs or a spoon if you've got it. Um, this is this is just cheating. I also like to chase my boy with it too. He he kind of runs away, like he knows that's gonna you know dad's gonna get him. So have fun with it. Um, it's cooking. Uh, it doesn't require as much thought as everybody thinks. So we're just going to kind of mix this up a little bit. I like to keep the potatoes in the middle because what I want is I kind of want the, uh, the, the, the carrots and the, and the potatoes to kind of work with each other because carrots are just, I just love carrots. I'll, I'll eat those things until I'm purple. Um, you can try to say you're starving, but you can only eat carrots. I'll, I'll eat my body weight in carrots. <clears throat> Another thing you can do. Uh, you can add pepper on there. You can add whatever you want. Um, you know what? Let's add some. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's add some pepper. I was gonna cap this and call it good, but let me um, throw some pepper in there. And it's not too bad. You know, it's just a little bit. So again, just a little. You know, a little bit everywhere. Nothing too crazy. All right, so now I'm going to take this top shiny side down. We want this is the reflective side. This is the less uh, reflective side. Whatever. Anyway, um, so I want to keep that sealed up. So I'm going to kind of push down on that. So what I'm doing here, let me tilt this slightly better. There you go. So what I'm doing is I'm running my hands down the sides, kind of crimping it a little bit. I'm gonna fold this side up, so that side is wanting to fight. And honestly, no joke, it is 501. So in the oven's reading 220, 222. We're just gonna throw this in right now. Now there's probably a pillow of smoke coming to come out of here because of how I cook. We just cleaned this stupid thing and it hasn't helped, but here we are. And now we're gonna get onto this guy. Now this guy needs some help. He's, he's got some issues. So let's fix him. And again, this is where food safety is important. You want to make sure your hands are clean. Uh, you want to clean them, clean them, clean them as much as you, you, you need to, as you feel like it. Basically, if I feel anything liquid, I'm washing my hands. So on this right here, we're going to peel this guy off. And see, we've got you know, a good amount there. Not touching anything else yet. I'm going to go get some kitchen pipa, which is what Gordon Ramsay calls paper towels. And I am going to take this out. I'm going to put him on here. So now all that goo stays in there. 
Now what I do is I'll go ahead, that's kind of going off camera, so let me move this over a little bit. There we go. So literally I'm, I'm, I'm just absorbing all of that stuff out of there. Just, you know, kind of give them a little bit, see how it's seeping through a little. And that's what, that's what I want. Now also note too, is it, you know, cause I'm a bonehead, no pun intended. And there's a little bit, of, bit of a chunk that I don't want. So I'm gonna go take that knife that I had earlier and I'm gonna just kind of carve that guy off of there. But you wanna, you know, give it, give it a little bit of a feel. Like, you know, this is stuff you're gonna feed people. Like this piece of cartilage right here, or whatever the crap this is, I don't want that. Nobody wants to eat that. So I'm gonna shave that guy off of there, just like that. Let's cut him off, all right? So give him a quick, quick once over. Make sure everything looks good. Skin looks nice, look at that. Looks real good. Uh, and I'm also gonna look, and, and again, look that, that the tender is also attached. It's still on here. It has not been removed. We wanna keep that on there because, well, hey, that's part of the money. That's part of the Supreme. So now this guy is all ready to go. He's all dried off, looking good. And note too, that I didn't do the chicken stuff until after all of the vegetable stuff was done. We didn't mess with that. Why? We don't wanna cross contaminate. The knife was never used on the chicken until it was used on the chicken. So we're gonna keep those separate. And I also keep the tongs separate as well. The tongs stay on the, on the counter. This stuff will go by the, <clears throat> there we go. It'll go by uh, the sink. And now I'm gonna get my little pan. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna use my bigger pan. Cause I think I need a little extra space. So this is one of our one of our bigger ones. I think the other ones in the um, in the uh, in the dishwasher right now. So I'm going to turn this on medium high. By the way, number wise at seven. So see, not, and nothing under my sleeve. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna move this we're gonna move this view to over here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply take a little bit of butter. All right. We're gonna take a butter knife and we're just gonna arbitrarily chunk off something. Now, if you like butter, go for it. If you don't, don't use butter. Use, uh, use oil, It'll, you'll get about 95% of the same outcome with, uh, uh, with just you know, uh, canola oil or, I wouldn't use olive oil, it just doesn't work all that well, it burns real quick. So now, so while that's kind of doing its thing, let's go back over here. So this is what this garlic clove now looks like. So I just peeled it back, literally just take your finger and you just kind of do this. So you just take these little individual pieces, you just sort of roll them off of here, just like that. And they, and they just naturally kind of fall out. Um, again, I, I kind of leave the core because this is just a hassle. So I save that for a rainy day. This is kind of doing its thing now. So I'm just gonna kind of rock it. Now, what you can do, this is really, again, I go for easy, simple, to the point. So let me, let me aim this down a little bit. There we go. So what I do on these is I just, just hit them. And I'll, I'll do a number of these. I probably won't do all of these because these are probably nuclear strong, uh, which is great. Uh, the smaller ones seem to do that. But just do this, just kind of give them a, give them a punch. And then you can easily strip this piece off. You have tools for this as well. I like these, you know, just there you go. Sometimes I'll break them apart a little bit and throw them in the, in the fire. Because I'm running a little bit behind because I'm talking as I do this, I just knocked the temperature down to six just to make sure I don't burn these. Uh, because if you burn these, well, then sad, sad things happen. So doing this, woo, watch out. Just got a pop of, uh, butter be careful too because that stuff will pop at you and throw things and you'll end up with burns all over yourself uh the other thing is too is if you do this just so you know your fingers will smell like garlic for at least a day or two um now see see this little see this little thing here uh, i don't like that stuff so i cut it out just like that um i i, I really do not like that stuff so um, your mileage may vary, you may not care. I don't like it um, for a number of reasons. Uh, mostly the aesthetics, usually it ends up tasting like crap. 
But that's just me. You can do whatever you want. It's cooking. So you can hear it's kind of woo, popping and snapping in the background. So I'm gonna kind of sift that around a little bit. Also gonna wash my hands. But now I got garlic all over. Right. Now, uh, another little tradition of mine, and you guys will only be the ones that know this outside of the, my 42 friends that are out there. Uh, when I'm ready to cook and I'm about to, you know, about to get serious, you always gotta have something to start. You always have to have some sort of announcement that you're about to cook. And unfortunately, because my wife is incredibly receptive, she picked up on this pretty quick, but I do this almost every single time I'm cooking. So what I do is I simply clap. I just sit there and I go, all right, all right, now we're, now we're ready to go. Now we're ready to go. Things are getting serious. We got this nice chicken breast sitting here ready. And we are gonna put this bad boy in this pan. Now, again, be very careful when you do this. Why? Because you will burn the living crap out of yourself. So time check right now is 5.09. We're gonna take this bad boy. See how there's a little bit of steam rolling off of here? I'm gonna take this chicken breast and I'm gonna sit it in here and I'm gonna knock it away from myself. That's the sound you want. And see how it, see how it just kind of like, it's just kind of like, kind of grabbing onto itself. That's what you want. You want that because that lets you know that it's hot enough. Now I'm gonna wash my hands because I just touched the chicken. And now I don't have to worry about it anymore because we are done with that part. So now on this, you know what? Turn on some light, turn on the fan. Just leave it sit there. Don't mess with it. You don't have to touch it. Easiest thing in the world right now. Oh look, we can season this side too. Season that up with a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And I'm still at six, by the way. Uh, I haven't upped it. It's still at six. But I am gonna add a little bit more butter. I like butter. Like I said, your mileage may vary. So there we go with that little guy right there. I'm gonna let him kind of simmer. And also I would recommend getting a large spoon. So what I do, I'm gonna kinda, if you wanna. And also, uh, on these edges here, like if you just kinda sit them on the side, I always do this away from you, by the way. If you put it over here, it's gonna splash on you. But if you do this and just kinda, kinda sit it in the corner a little bit, that gets the edges just a tiny bit. Far so good. Starting to sound right. Now here's where here's where Ramsey and I differ. Yet another yet another thing Ramsey and I differ. I will take those pieces of garlic out that I just kind of set off to the side. I'll take a tiny tiny little thing and extract them because I don't want them to burn any more than they have. Look at those. Look how good those look. It's fantastic. And I will add those in at the very end just to kind of give them a little splash of heat. You can also put thyme on this. Thyme is really good. I don't have any right now, unfortunately. Um, so that's where I'm at. So now I'm going to flip this. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that bad boy. So now while the underside's cooking, and again, we're still at six. We have not moved from there, and it's 512, just full disclosure. And now what we're doing is it all tilt this guy over, get some of that, and just baste it, baste it, baste it. Keep missing performance anxiety. So 
So let that sit for a little bit. Okay, so that was cool. Uh, my GoPro died in the middle of that, but all you missed was me throwing it in the oven. It is now, I, I hope that shows up. It's like, blah, 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 like it, it looks pretty cool. So here we are. We are on our way. Uh, literally all I did was baste it a number of times, threw it in the oven, and now we wait. That's it. Uh, in this time, I, I find it really helpful to clean up, throw stuff into the, into the dishwasher or put them in the sink. You see, this is how I kind of keep my pieces apart. Um, these are all clean. That's the uh, nasty chicken thing. But this is how I do this. I, I, I don't recommend you do this. Um, because people come by and buy people, I mean babies, come by and grab stuff and throw them on the floor. Anyway, this is gonna be done in about nine minutes in some odd seconds, almost 10, but that gives me, that gives me time to clean up and maybe make a drink. Cool, come back soon. By that I mean three, two, one, magic editing. Made myself that drink. So something I just thought of as I'm cleaning up here, some of you may be asking, hey, that's only one chicken breast. How are you gonna feed a family of four? How are you gonna feed a number of people? It is literally limited to how many pans you have. That pan I can put in two chicken breasts. I can, there, I've got another one that's, that's here, hold on, see? I got another one that's just a regular, I think it's a 10 inch, I think, probably. Yeah, I think it's a 10 inch pan. Um, a 10 inch pan can do two good sized chicken breasts at the same time. And you can, as long as you've got oven space and you've got the pans for it, you can scale this up to as many as you can fit. Um, I haven't tried a, 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 like a cookie sheet or something like that. You could totally do that too, but you'd have to have everything like over here running at the same time. So you can scale it. Uh, I've, made, I've made eight before at the same time. It's kind of, a, it's kind of nuts. Um, it barely fits in the oven, but I packed three, <coughs> three into, into that one I just used and four into another one. And the little guy I used as a single, it, 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 was, it was a total disaster. Um, well, not a total disaster from a, from a results perspective, but it was a total like, ah, like I had it on the wall. I, like I, I started this one, started that one, started that one, had it all timed literally on the wall. Um, and, and, it, and it worked out, uh, I couldn't believe it, but I do not recommend you start that way. Um, start, start small, start with a couple. And we've got a little over six minutes, 30 seconds to go. And then it's dinner time. Oh yeah. Okay, so we are just about ready. Uh, there's just a few seconds left. Now I, uh, <clears throat> because I'm an idiot and I burn myself on this probably more times than I care to admit, I like to use one of these. I put this on the handle because some idiot kept grabbing the handle afterwards and forgot. Uh, so I use one of these on top of an oven mitt, which we will see here in just a moment as the alarm is about to go off. So let's see, there it is. All right. Again, showing nothing up the sleeve. It is, well, it's showtime. Let's go ahead and get that bad boy out of here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Woo, watch out now. Right. So now, first things first, put this guy on here because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> now, there's a little bit of the old uh, grease left in there. You want to be careful. You don't want to like jump right in. What I like to do, take a little bit of that, dump it back on there, dump it back on there. And actually, I checked the uh, garlic earlier. They looked really good, so I'm not going to mess with those at all. So now, look at that bad boy. Look at that. We're also going to take out our vegetables um, <clears throat> while that just sits for a second. Take out the vegetables and sit them right up. Now, while that's cooling down a little bit, let me show you this. Look at this. So just give it a little punch, pull it back. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Now, another thing you can do, grab, grab yourself a little knife, give it the drop test. So if your knife goes in there nice and easy, they're done. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Look at that. See how that split? 
So that lets you know that it's good. I usually like to give it a little bit of a shake just to kind of free these guys up. Look at that, that one already broke on me. Just give them a little shake, 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 shake. And be careful too, it will go through these gloves. Um, these gloves are not like, you can't hold on to them forever. So now, what do we do? Get this thing all ready for, for, my, for my prime time, which is my belly. So let me flip this around. Pull that out. And now I got my little pieces of garlic that I have. That looks just, oh, so good. And that's it. So let's let's do the money. Let's do the money shot. Like this is this is the easy stuff. Like half of the time was in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the oven off now. So I'm happy with everything. And let's cut into this and I'll show you what we're dealing with. All right. I'm now sitting down. Let's see what we got going on here. Now we we, we have this uh, salt box thingy, uh, which is kind of awesome. Um, if you have one, great. If not, that's fine. Uh, but I like to add a little salt to it because salt brings out the flavor in so many things. I know you've been told this is the dangerous thing and it'll kill you. I, I've sure, um, but I like good food. Look at this. Look at that. And this was this was mostly in the oven. Like, look, just just look at this. Look at the steam rolling off of that bab. Ah, oh, look at that. This is a juicy piece of chicken. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna eat this bad boy. <laughs> oh, and, and just so nothing up to sleep, look. Oh yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, those are good carrots. Love it. Uh, until next time, see ya. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, wait, you, you already subscribed, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, see ya.